What's up everybody, it's Jeremiah here and today I'm going to be looking over Gon, Hisoka, and Killua's Hunter x Hunter Net Impact character trailers. They are pretty short but there's a lot to dissect here and we're going to be analyzing them, breaking them down and seeing exactly what these characters have to offer within their kit and seeing if I will play them. Gon and Killua are already going to be my mains by default. Um, so, but hopefully Biscuit and Marin will make it and then I could, you know, experiment with, you know, what trio I want for good. But that's a topic for another video. Let's begin with the analyses. All right, let's start off with Gon. Great animation. All right, so he started off with the, with the flurries. Well, no, first, no, he started off with the kick leading into the flurries that makes me believe that that kick is not some ordinary normal i mean if it is just a standing kick then okay uh but that flurry punch move is definitely a quarter circle forward motion and the headbutt is probably punch like right after the quarter circle forward punch you just press punch again he'll do the headbutt and then you cancel that into that kick which also does a wall bounce, so he could probably do a level 1. Alright, so now this is where Gon's Fishing Rod comes in. This is actually kind of like a mid-range weapon. Because if you go frame by frame, you can actually catch the hook, you know, while it's visible for like a frame. Uh, it actually extends itself forward, and then it touches the opponent. So I'm not sure if this is a situation where Hisoka just wasn't blocking or if that's a true mid and there are, you know, crushes in this game. Either way, I think it makes for an interesting tool for Gon. So after he hits him with the fishing rod, he goes from right to left, hits him with the slash, the scissor slash, jump cancels into another one, and then does a ground bound rock. Now, he could definitely do a follow-up after that. They didn't show it, but I, uh, I do think that Gon could definitely do a follow-up after that. Uh, ground bound for sure. You could probably convert it into a level one or a level two, maybe even a level three, honestly. All right, so that same kick was in the beginning of Gon's uh, trailer here when he was attacking Hisoka, except this time he's actually following up with the fishing rod. All right, and he pulls Killua with the fishing rod from the left to the right. Does that same kick. Which, I'm again, I'm starting to believe that's actually his standing kick, which is crazy. It might be a standing medium or a standing heavy, I'm not sure. But it's definitely a standing kick leading into... Whoa, 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 what was that? Hold on. Okay, so he does a lunge punch, uh, like a burn knuckle uh, from KOF with Terry Bogard. That actually might be like a quarter circle forward punch as well. Into a down low, which is probably a down heavy to keep Killua in the air. Okay, then he gets the OTG scissor slash launcher, jumped cancels into, whoa, jump, whoa, 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 whoa. Did he jump cancel and then, he jump canceled and then air dashed, okay, into a kick that ground bounds Killua and hits him with a scissor slash. And okay, so the, the combo ends right there, but honestly, since there's like a frame of Gon doing another load of Jajenkin, I feel, uh, Jajenkin, I don't know if I'm butchering that, I'm sorry, but, you know, I know what it is. Uh, they don't show what happens after that, but honestly, I think he could probably get away with another slash, or shoot, because I'm pretty sure he does have the projectile variation. Alright, let's pee pee Soka. <laughs> All right, so he punches Killua, then pulls him back with bungee gum. Ground bounds. Okay, slash, which is a mid. A slide, which is a low, to keep him in the air. Another slash. And that's a true combo. Okay, high. Low. Trips him. Puts him in the air. Slides to keep him in the air. Launch. And, whoa, okay, so, wait a second, what happened right here? Okay, so, one thing I do notice about, he's one thing I noticed about Hisoka, 
when it came to his gameplay was that sometimes when he hits you, you'll have gum attached to you. And I think for a split second, you don't see it off rip, but there's a there's a bit of pink going on on Killua's model here. And I think because of that, yeah, yeah, it's on him. It's on his character model. There it is right there. He follows up with the cards. Hisoka follows up with the cards and it hits him. And I don't know if that's an unblockable thing where if the gum is attached to you, you're unable to block and the cards will automatically like just go to you. But if that's the case, Hisoka's gonna be pretty dangerous. He's gonna be pretty tricky. Okay, so he started off with a high. Okay, high. Slash. That's enough hit stun for a slide. Puts him in the air, hits him with a knee, jump cancels. Whoa, that was almost like a tiger knee cancel. Okay. Hits him with a kick in the air. That might have been medium into heavy. Into a slash. Another slide. Into a level one. Level three. Personally, I am not going to be manning Hisoka, however, I will admit, he does look pretty saucy. His combos look kind of dangerous, not going to lie. I've seen this character do 85% damage on overgear. It's, it's, it's no joke. So, uh, be on the lookout for Hisoka's, man. Alright. What you got, man? All right, so how did he start off? I'm really glad they got his yo-yo in his move set. I had a feeling they were gonna put it in his move set. Okay, he started with a slash, slash, yo-yo, which is a low. Frips gone. Okay, a mid yo-yo, silent walk, mid slash to keep him in the air. Electricity. Okay, it's a true combo. Quick gear. Which happens to be God Speed. God Speed actually hits on startup. He automatically runs to the opponent and it does one hit. Okay, then a low, a slash, keep keeping him in the air, a mid, yo yo, another move to keep him in the air, silent walk, another, goodness, a slash to keep him in the air, electricity. He probably could have follow up, followed up with a level 1, to be honest, because Gon was definitely in an untechable state to the point where he couldn't actually, like, he didn't air recover. He bounced on the ground. So the combo could end that way as it just shown, uh, excuse me, as it was just shown, or he could have level 1 or level 2 to level 3 right there. But yeah, once you see this quick gear Godspeed activate, block, block, because you're going to get hit. I really wonder if you're able to cancel his uh, silent walk after normals i assume if you could it would be forward forward and it doesn't cost meter either all right now he's fighting hisoka let's see what he got okay so a mid slash low yo yo trip him up mid yo yo silent walk another slash electricity elbow jump cancel kick into the lightning strike into a kick ground well not okay it doesn't ground bound him but he is he does do the silent walk afterwards OTG launches Thunder into a level one, I think. Cause that wasn't a jump, that was not a jump cancel. He kicked him off the ground and did a super. Level three. So cool, man. Wow. Spectacular. Honestly, from everything I've seen, I am convinced 100% that Gon and Killua are definitely going to be the two characters that are on my team. No, as for who the third will be, I'm hoping that is going to be Biscuit and, or Marowim. You know, it could be Biscuit, Marowim, and Killua, or Gon, Killua, and Biscuit, or Marowim, Killua, and Biscuit. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see like how my chemistry works with the characters. But I like what we've seen, and I hope that the game is a success and i look forward to talking about it more in the future thank you all for watching and i will catch you guys in the next upload whenever if ever you guys take care and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out